Here we can see a pork quesantes plate. It can be a dinner plate or a lunch plate. Pork quesantes is a Filipino dish. It is a cuisine that is made from pork and several vegetables. Vegetables, as we can see here, are green peas, potatoes, bell peppers, both um, orange and red bell pepper. As we can see here, this is the potato. I have no patience of using a crock pot, so I diced up my potato. I then put it into a medium size pot, boiling it for 20 minutes. Here we can see two pork chop cuts and pork belly. We'll use half of that. We'll cut the pork into a thin slice cut. Here's the pork belly and like I said, we'll use half of this. We'll cut it lengthwise and again, we'll cut it into small pieces. Thin slice cut. As you can see here, they're cut not to perfect size, but you get what I mean. So after 20 minutes, your potato is done. Here is, or here are your cut up pork meats. Wash it. Put the pork into boiling water. Preferably the same water you use to boil the potatoes with. The ingredients we see here are two tablespoons of garlic powder, why a lot? I don't want the stench of the pork, but the taste of the pork, the aftertaste, you know what I mean. While you're eating it, you taste the pork stench. You, um, yeah, no, no thank you. Um, two teaspoons of uh, ground black pepper, and of course, pork cubes, nor pork cubes to enhance the uh, flavor. And yes, 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 we see two leaves here. They are bay leaves. Bay leaves, yes. We are using them to, yes, yet another way to take away the stench, the stench of the pork. Now, depending on serving size, you will cook the pork accordingly because pork is a very dangerous meat to eat when it's undercooked. Remember that. We have here, um, I guess, one, one, one and a half pounds of pork meat in this pot. So generally 25 minutes per pound. So mm, maybe about 45 up to an hour of boiling the pork meat. If you boil it more, it'll get tender more tender and it won't be chewy or gamey or whatever but okay yeah so while we're waiting we're gonna cut up the vegetables yes um earlier i mentioned all the vegetables except for onion we are gonna use onions we're gonna cut cut them all in lengthwise thin slices preferably like I said, thin slices, so there you go. Thin slices. Oh look, there's our pork. Pork meats being boiled. It's been an hour now, so we're gonna add our pre-cooked potatoes, diced up potatoes, and our newly cut, into lengthwise, onions. Yep, and mix it up. Be careful of not smooshing the uh, potatoes. You don't want to end up with pork quesantes mashed potatoes. Then we add soy sauce. Yes, that's another ingredient of this dish. I will be using... Um, 
the brand Datu Puti. It's a Filipino brand. It's a type of soy sauce in the Philippines. But anyways, I'll be using half a cup or eight tablespoons of this sauce. And one can of tomato sauce, any brand of tomato sauce. As we can see here, I have Meyer brand tomato sauce. Pour the entire can of tomato sauce. And voila, after you mix it up, this is how it looks like. It's becoming beautiful. It looks delicious too. We then add our vegetable, the cut up bell peppers, both orange and red. Mm hmm. Look at that. It looks beautiful. We stir it, mix it up, and it looks even more beautiful. Our last ingredient, yes, one can of Del Monte sweet peas, green peas. Now you can use any brand of peas, but this is what's available, so I'm using it. Mm-hmm. OMG, like, it's so beautiful to look at. It's delicious. It was delicious. Yes, we again stir it and mix it up and look at that masterpiece. Our finished product, yes. Our very own pork quesantes. Lutong bahay, lasang pinoy all the time. Now you guys have an idea for what to cook for lunch or dinner or kung anong babao ninyo for your next that work just to save money if you're in a budget you know okay see you thank you for watching bye